What's happening, folks? Back with another reaction, back with some more DOA. And indeed, it occurred to me I hadn't reacted to their theme song, which is to say the first track on their Hardcore 81 release, which I think I talked about before. Um, you know, punk historians have identified as the first release by a punk band using the word hardcore to describe the sound of uh, punk they were playing. So it is a seminal release in that regard. Big shout out to Joe Keithley. Uh, still, you know, still running BOA, obviously with some different um, uh, band members. Indeed, he makes a point here in the 40th anniversary uh, edition of Hardcore 81. I used to have the original, and then I eventually lost it, so when I went to replace it, it was a couple years ago when I was delighted to find out that they had released this 40th anniversary edition. Uh, and yeah, he points out on the liner notes here uh, that this is dedicated to my fallen comrades, Randy Rampage, who originally played the bass and also was on vocals, and Dave Gregg, who was on guitar and also did vocals. Uh, so shout out and RIP to them. Uh, and once again, big shout out to Joey uh, Keithley, you know, maintained his ethos and his sound across four plus decades. Uh, and yeah, we're going to listen to DOA, the song, and it's funny, I've enjoyed this song for a long time. I didn't discover them in the early 90s when I first discovered punk rock. It was a few years after that, probably like around the turn of the millennium uh, when I started uh, following them and, you know, trying to buy their releases. <clears throat> and I remember when I heard this tune, it was like... It sounds like it could be someone who's part of a scene, but they've gotten too far in and they can't back out. It maybe sounds like someone who's living their life in a certain way and who's gotten too far in and can't back out. But the literal notion seems to be that like, oh, you know, you should have, you know, got, you should have offed yourself when you had the chance because now it's too late. You're DOA. So basically they put the lyrics on the back here. I love how like Spartan... Uh, this releases. There's no um, liner notes or anything. My only um, regret is that for the 40th anniversary they didn't put a poster or something. I would love to have a DOA poster back here. In any case, uh, the lyrics are, you should have got out while you could. You're locked in. You've gone too far. There's no escape from what you are. You're DOA. So, again, it feels conceptual. It feels like, you know, saying that someone's been living a certain way and maybe not, you know, in a punk way. Um, and they've done it for so long that, you know, they're stuck like that. They're DOA. They're just, you know, a walking corpse, essentially. Um, but I've always, you know, wondered the essence of it. I've never quite known. Either way, let's listen to it. I've talked like three times as long as the song is. This is DOA. The track is DOA from their Hardcore 81 album, although this is the 40th anniversary reissue. <laughs> That's early 80s hardcore, man. I do, I did notice when listening this time, that sort of like syncopated uh, drum rhythm, it reminds me of some of the early Vandal stuff. Um, so yeah, I like, it's something that I hadn't really thought about before. Obviously the early Vandals, I think is still a little bit down the line. Like I think it's late 80s. Nevertheless, uh, I am a, um, a fan of this uh, album overall. I mentioned before I had an original CD, although that was probably like a, you know, 91 reissue or something. 
Um, and yeah, I had that for many years, lost it, was happy to get this again. Uh, I think I've gone through still a minority of tunes, maybe like four or five. So lots there to go, or lots more to go through. I do also have there, I think it's like 99, maybe it's 2001, uh, Live Free or Die. So we'll start going through some more uh, DOA uh, now that I'm you know back on my radar. In any case, uh, let me know what you think of this one. And once more, shout out to Joey, uh, Joe Keithley, I should say, not Joey. Um, yeah, any punk that's still around after 40 plus years and, you know, still making punk rock music, I give a lot of credit to you. So shout out to him. Shout out to you. Let me know what you think. I will see you next time. Peace.